Hello everybody, welcome back to Fox's Best Laid Plans, the planner channel that actually is a planner channel. It's how it started, but like I know I don't really plan that often, but that's just because of who I am as a person. Hi everybody. It's been a minute. In fact, the last time that you saw me was not this because I never got this edited. I filmed this and I never edited it. And then Vlogmas has begun, so you don't want to see Thanksgiving week plan with me. But uh, I never even finished it. I, I just, I took my planner over on Wednesday. We went over to my mom's house on Thanksgiving. And I was like, I'm going to just, up, you know, update it every day like I like to do. Do you think I did? I didn't. I didn't. Does anybody else, we didn't do this week. Does anybody else do that thing where you know something is going to make you feel better or it's going to help you stay organized or concentrate and you just are like can't make time for that not going to do that one because that's like how my brain functions like 90 percent of the time i'm like the things that i i know doing my planner every week do my bullet journal every day do my meal plan for the week i know these things will make me feel better more focused more organized able to enjoy life instead of feeling like ah all the time and i know that my brand is kind of ah all the time but like can we have a little bit more balance can we take the ah from like here down to here and maybe take the ah from here up to here like maybe let's balance it i don't know y'all i didn't do my nails yet because i've been cleaning so i was like whatever you're gonna get not perfect nails for this that's fine we are planning the week of monday december 5th through sunday december 11th in my gooseby twins planner <sighs> it's tuesday december 6th um i kind of knew i wasn't gonna have time to do this finish this yesterday and that's fine because i got a lot of other things done i've had a very productive few days and i've been doing vlogma stuff and um yeah but it's just as much as there was to do a few productive days is like a drop in the bucket so i'm using a kit from cat kakria plans it's so cute it's like little woodland creatures having like a cozy holiday i love it um let's dig in so how's everybody doing i feel like i have less to say this time than normal because um i'm doing vlogmas so i'm talking to you every day um oh i already started with a bubble all right. It's a gloomy day here in Pittsburgh. Like it is maximum gloom out there. And I have some errands to run. I have to go out in the rain soon. But it's not too cold, I don't think. I think it's okay. This weekend, as you'll see, we're planning to try to go to Kennywood. I already got our Kennywood tickets. Kennywood is our amusement park here in Pittsburgh. It's pretty awesome. And they do holiday lights every year. And it's fun. So only a few of the rides are open. Um, but some of the rides are open and, ooh, oh no, um, but they have it all decorated for Christmas. They have Santa, they have a really cute little Christmas, um, miniature train display, which I love miniature trains. I think they're really cool. I wish that our, we used to have a train for our Christmas tree and we no longer, we have the train, it's still like in the attic, but we no longer have the, um, the board with the tracks on it it was from the 80s and you probably shouldn't be touching it because you know explosions and things like that but I miss that model train what are those called those little mini trains you know what I mean train town anyway so we're hoping to do that this weekend I go back to work tomorrow today's Tuesday I don't know why I sound kind of like I'm losing my voice I'm not sure what's going on with that um, so yeah, I don't have an answer for why I sound very, I'm, I'm a little vocal fry all the time. You can take the girl out of the valley and sometimes you can't take the valley out of the girl. Um, but yes, I did live in the valley. I can say that. Ooh. I don't know. I'm a little vocal fry all the time, but not too bad. But today it's like, it's a situation. I apologize. Okay. Oh, this kit's already so cute. I'm trying so hard to be like real holly jolly. And I think I'm doing an okay job. I'm really proud of myself for being productive because I have been struggling lately. And I was worried because I thought I would get some stuff done on Saturday. And then Saturday, Danielle and I ended up going to the, um, well, it was supposed to be like a little street fair in Dormont 
they had a parade, I guess, in the morning, but it was really like questionable weather in the morning. And so there wasn't like, I don't know if that was why there weren't very many vendors, but it was still like fun. We got the dogs together. The weather was beautiful, but very windy by the time we got there. That took up some of the middle of my day. And then we had the Squirrel Hill Wine Walk on Saturday night, which was so fun. That was our second one that we've gone to. Uh, if you didn't see the vlog, I will link it above here. Um, it is, this year it was 19 stops. Last year I think it was 16, but it was 19 different places. And they give you like a little cup at the beginning and you just walk around to all the different places. And I mean, you don't get like a full glass of wine. You get like, I'd say probably a half to three quarters of an ounce of wine at each stop. So not too bad. Um, I need to put my blood pressure in here, but I didn't print the page that had like the Monday, like, you know, the days mark Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that one did not, oh, that was the only thing on that page that I would have used. So I didn't print it because I don't want to print the whole page for just one thing. So I'll just use one of those once I get these down. Those have seven. Sometimes those little check boxes don't have seven on them because they're designed to be like a to-do list in the middle of the week, but this one does. So. But yeah, so then we went to the Wine Walk. We finally finished the Jeffrey Dahmer um, docu-series, which was, whoo, that was, that was a wild ride that I didn't need to go on, and yet I did. Learned a lot, learned a lot. We finally finished that so we can, like, move on. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let me get this in here. Uh, move on to more upbeat things. So I think tonight the plan is, oh, Sunday night, we watched that Saturday night, and then Sunday night I was like, I really wanna watch a Hallmark movie, so we watched A Royal Corgi Christmas, which was cute, not my favorite. The royal story, sometimes I'm like, mm, don't really care. Um, but we watched that, and then so husband really wants to watch the new Chippendales docuseries, so we're gonna start that tonight. That's the plan, after I do some meal prepping and stuff. Okay, there's all that for the week. And then, like I said, I'm just gonna put one of these down here for blood pressures. I really, I mean, every November is kind of like a don't take care of your body month for me because of National Novel Writing Month and like the chaos that comes out of that. But I feel like this November was like particularly bad. So I like wasn't checking my blood pressure. I forgot to take my nighttime sleeping medicine, which is, I take trazodone and um, trazodone technically is an antidepressant. It's not supposed to be great for that, but I wonder like, hmm, is this part of why I feel like garbage all the time? <laughs> you know, so I'm trying to get back on track with taking that and my fiber supplement because I'm an old granny and Checking my blood pressure every day, drinking my water, trying to do the best to keep this old body running. So, as I mentioned, I go back to work tomorrow on my work rotation. So I'm trying, I, I'm concerned a little bit about, um, I guess I did Vlogmas last year at the same previous year when I did Vlogmas. I think 2019 was the first year I did Vlogmas. Did I do four? Is this my fourth year? Maybe. I think this is my fourth year of Vlogmas. I think it is. I'm trying to think of what my intros were. So I had this year I have the cottage. Last year I had a reindeer. The year before I had a little fox and the year before that I just had like a holly thing. So yeah, this must be my fourth year of doing Vlogmas, which is kind of crazy. Um, I forget where I was going with that. Oh, but 2019 and 2020 I was working at my old store and we were done at six every day and I had Sundays off. We were closed on Sunday, so that was nice. Um, but we were done at six every day, so I had a little bit more time in the evening. So I'm kind of concerned the next couple days, like, what am I going to film? Um, what am I going to talk about? Like, what kind of content am I going to create? Because you have to come up with something every day, you know? So we'll see. Um, yeah. Yesterday, I was, like, cleaning all day. So what should I use for my... Let me think about the things that I did yesterday. Okay. 
I'll write them down here so that I have a note here. I did cleaning, run, bullet journal, um, edit photos. Yeah, okay, that's about what I did. And then I went to the K. Oh, it was repeal day. That's right. So put this here. Yeah, yesterday was repeal day. So, well, this is not really. Let's switch over this one. Uh, that's the day that the, of they repealed prohibition. So we always try to like traditionally go out and repeal day gin for everyone we try to go out and get like a prohibition style era gin cocktail so i got a last word last night oh no what is <sighs> i didn't think the back of this paper that i just wrote my notes on was glossy but it's making my pen behave behave as if i just wrote on glossy paper i don't know what's up with that i guess it was maybe a little glossy all right so yeah, so we did go, we went to Acacia. We had cocktails there. And then we went to the cage. Oh, I'll just put the cage here. That's where we finished our night. And then before that was Krampus. So we went to, uh, we had a group run. I'm gonna use enough all these stickers. So Krampus, if you are not aware, Krampus is the bad, um, I guess he's not bad. He is the German Christmas spirit who deals with the bad kids like St. Nicholas rewards the good kids at Christmas and Krampus steals and eats the bad kids. <laughs> so they do a, I'm gonna do like this. Um, make it look real festive like it's like yeah Krampus um so they do a parade and then some of the Krampi which apparently is the pluralization I'm not gonna be able to fit Krampus space it out Fox there we go um are in a band called Slayer like S-L-E-I-G-H-E-R and they are a death metal Christmas band. So they do a performance, and so like our, the one running group, um, run and parade. So we did, I did five miles. That looks pretty cool. Look at that, that looks like real spooky. Um, so they, people dress up like the Krampus, Krampi, Krampuses. Um, and then, so they did a parade for us, and it was really cute. And then they were playing um, at the Hard Rock Cafe down in Station Square. So you could stay and you could get in for a discounted price if you were part of the run group. They gave us like a discount on that. But um, it was repeal day, so I had places to be. So we went to, I went home and picked up husband and we went down to get a cocktail and then go up to the cage for dinner. But you could stay. And so a couple of my girlfriends did stay and they watched the death metal uh, Christmas music. So it was pretty funny. But it was like, it was fun and like, I don't know, it's like, you know, they get dressed up and I wonder if there is some crossover between people who are furries and people who dress up for Krampus. I feel like that's probably the case. All right. What else did I do yesterday? I just did stuff. Like I was doing stuff around the house. So I don't really have like, I wish I had like a, a smaller one of these. I guess I'll cut one. Let's do four. I'm still do. oh no, my scissors are gone. Where would my scissors go? There's just me in here. I mean, literally. Okay, I gotta go get another pair of scissors, BRB. Okay, I have scissors. So I said what, four, one, two, three, four. So go there. Because I'm like, I could just cut it there and just use it like that, but no, 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 I can't do that because I don't like it not having a bottom border so we're gonna do this, like so. There we go. Okay, so I've been still doing with the Heart Breathing's sprinting community, even though I'm taking December off from writing like basically entirely. Um, and whether or not I return to writing after that is to be seen. But 
I'm still using their sprinting community for doing like my other creative products, which I really like. It's just really nice to have somebody accountable. It's kind of like silent co-working, although you can't see people, you can just see their texts and everything. You can't see their videos, but same kind of idea. And I've been really having a lot of good luck with that. So each, I did one of those yesterday, um, nine to 11. And then I did edit vlog and post. I did cleaning, and I also did bullet journal. That's nice. That looks nice. And then I did some more decorating, so I'll put that. That'll be its own big thing. Why does this pen look so light? Ah! Be visible. Embrace your holiday truth and be visible. Oh, man. There, that's a little better. Whee! Okay. Today, I did some more decorating. Just put... Almost done. I have one more box downstairs. Um, and then husband just has to take the rest. He took half the boxes up yesterday. He has to take the rest up tomorrow. So tomorrow. Today. He's going to take them up tonight. I've been cleaning all day. So that's going to get a big, with an exclamation point. Yep. Determined. So what I'm doing, my special project, I'm trying to get the, we had a desk in here that was husband's desk when he did not work from home and he would like have it occasionally but we wouldn't be up in each other's business well when he started working from home at the start of the lockdown three years ago oh my god how has it been that long but it has almost well almost three years um we just kind of set his stuff up at the dining room table because we thought it was just for like a couple months well you know now he can go into the office and like if i need like last week my mom and i wanted to clean like really deep clean the downstairs so we were ready to put up the Christmas decorations and get the tree and everything so we sent him to the office and he went to the office for a day but a lot of the time it's not when he's on calls it's like there's no point being in the office because he's just taking calls and he can do that at home just the same so he is most of the time working from home so it's like well this is a permanent thing so but we can't both be in this office like I wouldn't be able to film right now if he was on a call so what we're doing is we're taking the the only person who stays over in our guest room is my mom and she doesn't have to stay in that room. She can stay in here. So what we're doing is we're going to move the desk, his desk that's in this office, into the guest room, take the futon from the guest room, and put it in here. So when my mom stays over, she'll just stay in here because the futon will be here. And that way he'll have the guest room as his dedicated office space, and we'll have the dining room table back to just being a dining room table. And also I think that will really help him a little bit with work-life balance because it's really easy to be like, we're eating dinner down there. We're on watching TV down there. He likes to play video games. We have a Raspberry Pi, so he's like doing that down there. And his computer for work is always right next to him. So it's like hard to disconnect. So I'm hoping that moving him into a dedicated room will help him like be like, okay, work day is done. I'm leaving this room. You know, that's the hope. But anyway, that desk for the last two years has not been used at all. And so we've just been kind of like, putting stuff on it when like we clean and like oh someone's coming over we have to take all the like mail off the table or whatever you know just throw it there like oh we ordered some books and we read them and we didn't put them away we just put them there like it's just it's embarrassing but that's what we've been doing with that desk the desk has been like horrible and so I've been working so hard for like the last two weeks on cleaning it and it's almost done it's almost done. I had so much of my scrapbooking. Like I just collect ephemera for scrapbooking and then I never have the time to scrapbook because to sit down and do it, it's such a fucking chaotic mess because everything's unorganized. So I'm like organizing everything, putting all my stories by the month kits together, putting all my ephemera that I've collected. Like I always like to take like business cards or a menu or tasting notes or a flyer from like things that we do and places that we go. And I like to put those in my scrapbook. But like without a storage place for them, they just kind of all got tossed there. So I have two more piles of stuff that I've collected that has to be filed, but I just got a bin to organize. I got envelopes and then I got a bin to organize the envelopes. So now it's like, boom, 
I can find everything when I'm like, I'm ready to sit down and do a scrapbook from our trip to the gorge. It's all there, you know? So lots of cleaning. So that's why it's got its own thing here. I have to go do my Peloton workout as soon as I'm done filming this because then my eyelash appointment is at, um, so what am I going to do about that? Let's do, okay, we're going to do some more cut and paste. I think we're just going to do, can we fit four? If I take that, yeah, I can fit four again, okay. Yeah, four seems to be about what I need. I'm doing about four tours. So I'll just take that little line that I made there out. Oh, I bet I covered up the bottom of the work clean. Well, who cares? Who cares? So I have Peloton. Is my workout today? Cause I got my run done last night. I have to go to the post office. Uh, grocery list. My lashes are at three. And then grocery store. I have to make the list though first. So I probably will be hungry and I'll be walking in there like, mm, I'm just taking a little bit of everything off the shelf. I'm gonna make a pot pie tonight and we're gonna do a HelloFresh. So the pot pie is gonna be meal prep for the week and then the HelloFresh. Okay, tomorrow we are going to go see a movie after work. And I'm hesitant to even put this on here in case like I come home from work and I'm like, ah. but we're gonna go to Silk Elephant and get some tapas for dinner. And then I can always cover these up if I need to, if we change our minds. I spell elephant right? Okay. And then we're going to see The Menu, which is not a Christmas movie, <laughs> but it's playing at the manor. Uh, it's spooky, it's a thriller. A thriller or is it supernatural? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll tell you more about it. But it's playing at the Manor Theater, which is like the only theater that I will go to because I am a theater snob. We're going to see that at 935. It's only an hour and 47 minutes long, so I think I can stay awake for all of it, but you never know. We saw that Nicolas Cage, uh, I forget what it's called, the Nicolas Cage movie where he plays Nicolas Cage. And we went to a late showing and my ass fell asleep, even though I was like super into it. But I think that was a little bit longer. So we got to all say our prayers that Fox makes it through the movie tomorrow night. Okay. That's what we got to hope for. I might get a cappuccino after work. We'll see. And then that's going to be dinner. And then I don't know why I left all this blank space. I don't know what I'm going to fill in here. I have to do a strength training workout tomorrow. That's for sure. Thursday, I have to do, I'll fill that out later. Um, I have two mile speed work, uh, just easy speed work, just to ease back into it. Um, hello, if you're new here, I'm a distance runner. I just ran the Indianapolis marathon at the beginning of November and I'm still like in that recovery and base building stage prior to my next round of marathon training, which will start probably in January. Um, I haven't chosen a spring marathon yet, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm just, this is my first speed work workout since that. It's about a month after my marathon. So I'm doing that on Thursday. Friday, our friends are bartending. We haven't seen them in so long. I don't want to put this. I'll put it here, I guess. Now I can fill in something. I'm going to probably regret that I put it there. I'm going to be like, why did I put it in the middle of things? This is why sometimes I don't like to fill it out until later. But anyway, I'm not going to put Kennywood in, speaking of fill out until later, because I don't know if we're going to go which of these days. And whichever day we don't go, that day I will have to do my long run, which is seven miles this week. So, you know. I would like it if we could go Sunday, and then I could do my seven mile run either before work here, and then do my other run here. I don't know. That's my hope, but I don't know. We'll look at the weather and see which day has the better weather. Kennywood is only open... Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the, the Christmas thing. So, and Fridays I, I work until seven, so that's gonna be too late to get there. But anyway, back to what I was saying, Hannah and Craig are our bartender friends and we are going to see them because they have, they do not bar, they used to bartend together at the same place and now they do not. 
but Hannah's coming and guest bartending and they're bartending together. Um, they did this past Friday, which we couldn't go to, and they're doing this coming Friday. So I was like, we're coming down and she's gonna have her dog Lizzie there and Layla's gonna meet Lizzie and I'm so excited because it's dog friendly there. Yay! And like I said, I'm not gonna fill in the um, Kennywood stuff because I don't know what's going on with that. I'm not gonna fill in my long run because I don't know what's going on with that with my work schedule. It's so hard to fit long runs and I only my long run's only seven miles this week but it's just so hard to fit it in when it's dark. Like in it's, when it's summer, seven miles after work is like no big deal because it's daylight until eight o'clock or nine o'clock, whatever. Right now, it's like, if I'm done at five, my if I do the run after work, my entire mileage is gonna be in the dark. If I do it before work on Sunday, Sunday before work, I don't have to be there till 11 and that time is like kind of like my quiet reset time. Like that's the, my, my time to myself to do creative stuff in the middle, um, oh yeah, if you're new here also, I work seven on, seven off. So I just, am, today is day seven of my off rotation, tomorrow is day one of my seven days of work. So like Sunday morning time is like my chance to recuperate and like do creative stuff and like, I don't know, have time to myself. Cause usually, I mean, I have time to stop myself in the mornings every day, but it's not a terrible lot before I have to be at work at nine. So that's like my nice block of time. So I can put a run in there but I feel like I've been using it more for like mental time. Um, so we'll see, but that's the spread for this week. It looks really cute. I really like this. And once it gets all filled out, it's going to be even better. And now I have it done so I can keep doing it every day with little updates and, and I'll feel better. Like I, I don't know why I put off the things that I know will make me feel better. I don't know why I do it, but it's just how it's how I, I do things always. So anyway, Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are new here. Uh, it is Vlogmas, so there are new videos coming out every single day. My regular posting schedule, once it's not Vlogmas, is two a week, a plan with me and a vlog. Um, I will also have monthly Moxie Life videos starting in 2023, so if you wanna see somebody learn how to Moxie Life, because I've never done it until this year, uh, you can check out those once they start in January. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. And as always, please take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you in tomorrow's video.